Hey everyone, Pip from Premier Team Building here. Thanks for tuning in. Maybe you're watching this video as part of your upcoming photo hunt team building day, or perhaps you've stumbled across it looking for some new ideas for some awesome activities. Either way, please make sure you like and follow below to make sure you keep up to date with everything that's going on. Now make sure you watch all the way through where we give away some great, amazing tips and tricks on how to be successful with this awesome program, Photo Hunt. Now, on the day itself, you're gonna be exploring some amazing place. Maybe a local city, major city, a zoo, a park, or maybe a resort. The options are endless, but the important thing is to make sure you're prepared. Everything you need is right here in your phone and up here. Now, as you explore today, you're gonna to come across some hidden clues. We start you off with some basic clues to point you in the right direction, but then you need to decipher them and find the hidden objects. Now, they could be a pipe, hidden below some rocks, they could be a magnetic box on the back of a sign, or maybe they might be a QR code, like this one. But the QR code itself is needs to be scanned by your phone. So it's important to make sure that you've got a good QR scanner. So if you need to, check out the details below. We've got a few different QR code scanners we recommend. This QR code right here We'll take you to our website. So if you need to, give it a test, make sure your QR code scanner is working because on the day, you're definitely going to need it. Now your QR code scanner is either going to take you to a website, a YouTube video, or it's going to give you a photo, maybe even some text about what you need to do. Now whatever it is, make sure you follow those instructions very carefully because if you don't, you might not receive your next clue. The platforms we'll be using today, your challenges, you're going to need to either post them to Facebook, Instagram, you might even have to watch a YouTube video, go to a website link. Now for Facebook and Instagram, whatever the challenge is, we're gonna tell you what you need to do, also what you need to post. Now if you don't post properly, we don't know you've done the challenge. So it's important you follow the descriptions in whatever it says. Simply enough, copy and paste is the easiest way to make sure you don't make any mistakes. Once you've completed the challenge, you either receive a comment, SMS, or maybe a video file saying, congratulations, here's your next clue. So make sure you're prepared to use these platforms. Now, what can you expect from these challenges? There's a whole range of challenges that you can experience on the day. Some might be as simple a task as making a human pyramid or hugging a stranger, doing a video rendition of the YMCA and posting those onto a specific platform or you might have a little puzzle you have to solve, send the photo off to ensure that you've done the photo properly, or once you've completed the puzzle, on the back there will be a clue as to your next location. Now you might come across some little trinkets, perhaps a key, a laminated photo, or part of a photo with your team's colors on the back. Make sure that when you come across one of these hidden treasure caches that you've been experiencing throughout the day, you look to make sure that you've chosen the correct color. If you've picked up the wrong color, you're not gonna be able to solve the puzzle at the end of the day. Now at times you're gonna come across a series of numbers. Those numbers are gonna be GPS coordinates for you to open up on your phone onto Google Maps. They're gonna take you to a location where you're gonna to need to find the next clue itself. Now if you don't use Google Maps, you should also be able to open it on Apple Maps. Now on the day, you're definitely gonna come across some forced perspective. Now what's forced perspective? This one's simply, you're gonna have an object, perhaps a rubber duck, a toy dinosaur, or maybe it's someone's hand, and you're gonna hold that object closer to the phone while everyone's further behind completing the task. It's easier to see it, so watch this little clip right here about some forced perspective to have an idea of what you're gonna to need to do on the day. Now, on the day, you're gonna have a lot of different challenges you're gonna to need to complete. Be creative. The more creative you are, the more points you and your team are gonna get. Think outside the box. Make sure you take lots of photos. The more photos you have, the better off you'll be. Now, sometimes a treasure cache is gonna have a code. It could be three letters. Those three letters could unlock a lock later on for you. Or there might be a photo taped to the box. You can't take the box with you, so make sure you take a photo of the photo. Maybe perhaps ensure that every time you come across a new photo, someone different in the team takes that photo. You might want to share the love a little bit. Now make sure that your social media platforms are all ready to go because on the day you're going to be living live on social media showing your friends the wacky shenanigans you're about to get up right. to. Quick recap of what the day is going to entail. You and your team split up. You're going to be living through this on the internet for the day. 
We're gonna be using platforms like Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Google Maps, and the internet on a whole, as we're gonna go to different website links. On every challenge, there'll be some instructions on what to do. You might have to post a photo or a video. You might have to follow a video's instructions. Whatever it is, make sure you read the instructions carefully. If you have to post something online, you need to follow those instructions. Copy and paste, easiest option for you. That way we know you've completed the task and can send you the next clue itself. You're gonna also be using QR codes, so you need a QR code scanner. Little tip, read the instructions below. It's gonna give you everything you need to know about which platforms and systems we recommend for this program. Come the end of the day, you're gonna walk away with a bunch of photos and great memory. Maybe even a little bit of blackmail if your coworkers about some funny photos they take. Regardless, you're gonna have a fantastic time. Take lots of photos. Remember, only take the items that have your team's color on them. If you're team green, don't pick up team yellow's picture. It's not gonna help you, it's definitely not gonna help them, and we'll know in the end as well. And remember, have fun. It's day for you guys and gals to hang out, take lots of photos, and explore a little slice of heaven. Hope you have a fantastic time. We'll see you guys soon. Remember, make sure you like and follow the Premier Team Building page to keep an update with all of our videos. We're all constantly giving away different tips and tricks on what to do, so please keep an eye out for what's coming up next for the Premier Team Building team and have a fantastic time.